trying is the first step toward failure. Today, I am going to slaughter this Boofwang UV5R just so I can see what it looks like on the inside and so I can hear it scream in agony while I do it. Now you may be asking, why would you do something so horrible to an innocent Boofwang UV5R? And my response would be, how do you know it's so innocent? I happen to know for a fact that this radio has transmitted multiple times on GMRS and MERS frequencies, something that violates the FCC rules. And I can tell you that this radio squirts spurious RF emissions and never puts down the toilet seat after. So she is getting exactly what she deserves. And besides, I really just want to see what the insides of one of these things looks like. And if you're watching this video, you probably want to know what it looks like on the inside also. So once again, I do the dirty work so that you don't have to. I don't really have very many tools. I'm not one of those tool guys. So I have to make do with what I have. I think I have everything that I'm gonna need based on the reading I did online. Don't worry about this. This is just a prototype that Wuxin sent me of a KGS88G. I'm not allowed to talk about it, but I am allowed to show it. That'll be for another video. Now, before I get butt deep into this, allow me to clarify that this is not a take apart and then put back together again video. So if you're watching this video to learn how to open up your Boofwang UV5R and then put it all back together, I'm going to show you half of that. I'm going to try to put it back together, but I'm probably not even going to bother videoing that because I'm taking this apart just so that I can see what it looks like on the inside. I expect that she's going to die a slow, painful death. So this is not really like a surgery. This is more like a pre-autopsy. This is a working Boofwang UV5R. Oh, she's she's saying something. She's, she's saying that she's fine and she doesn't need surgery. That's not gonna matter. So to, oh. Now she's asking Xenu for forgiveness before she goes to join him in the volcano in the sky. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the radio. I'm going to remove the battery because we're not taking the battery apart. You don't really want to take one of these apart because all of those electricities are jammed in there very tightly. And if you crack it open the wrong way, they will all jump out very quickly right into your eyes. So. I'm going to save that. I'm going to remove the antenna by grasping the radio in one hand and twisting with this hand. I think I'm going to need to remove the belt clip to get to those little screws underneath. Now I can access those. We will need to pull the knob off. I think it just yanks off. It pulls straight off, on and off. Oh, and this is one of the good ones that transmits all the way up to 520 megahertz. They don't make them like that anymore. All right, so the first thing I'm going to need to do now, I'm going to pull out all those screws from what I read online. Those are Torx number nine. Yep, fits perfect. I have not done this before. I did not pre-disassemble it. Usually when I make my videos, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'll do a pre-run of everything first. Not this time. I'm going to tear her open and look at her guts. I have no idea what's there. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this thing apart. Uh, that's the little lever that releases the battery. It's a little spring that pushes it back forward. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to take it off. All right, those probably need to come off. Oh, that was easy. Uh 
Also easy. So far, not that many parts. Now what? I don't freaking know. A smart YouTuber would have done some research before trying this. That's not me. I do not have the right tools. Come on, you stupid. That actually helped. Oh, the bow fang sticker came off. And the UV5R sticker came off. There's probably an easy way to do this. That's not how I'm doing it. there and pop it open. All right. We've got a very tiny wire to the speaker. That's the keypad. So as most experts know, this is the speaker here, the microphone, that's the hole for the microphone there. And I've always wondered where the microphone actually was. So I get, is that the microphone? I don't know. That's what the hole lines up with. Sometimes people will take these apart just to drill that hole out to make that hole larger so that more noise can go from your noise hole through that hole into the microphone. That's the monitor button there. I think I broke the push to talk button. The call button still works. Yeah, I broke the push to talk button. Let's go deeper. I'm not sure if that's a screw or a potentiometer. More screws on the antenna mount. I'm sure some people will make fun of my choice of tools. I don't care. Ah, uh, the LCD. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's trying to say something. That's your spirit going to heaven to see Xenu. Xenu be with you. Uh, more screws under the LCD. Ah, the good stuff. So you can see the handwriting of the child Chinese slave that must have scratched that into the casting. That was the volume potentiometer. So on the back of the radio, we've got the input jacks with the K1 connector. The LED, the SMA connector, some of those little things and doohickeys. One of these is the SOC, the system on a chip. I have no idea which or what is what. I'm just looking at the guts, watching her bleed. So that is pretty much it. Now you know what the guts of a Boofwang UV5R looks like. The battery is still good. 
but that's about it. So I am sorry to inform you that the patient did not survive. Please leave your heartfelt condolences below.